Hey there, Coastal Band. Good Friday morning to everyone. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s still at this time. We have a little bit of rain activity over the Gulf. It looks like one little thunderstorm heading in towards Port Aransas. Most of the rain so far this morning has pretty much been falling apart, but we probably will see that one make its way inland pretty quickly. So heading into this afternoon, lots of moisture around, so more clouds as well as increased rain chances. We are expecting a pretty active sea breeze this afternoon. Temperatures topping out in the upper 80s to low 90s. Heading into this evening, you should be OK to go for our Friday night blitz cast. Maybe a stray shower or two still lingering at the start of the game, but hopefully drying out for long enough that we can have those games go ahead. Heading into tomorrow morning, though, the overnight hours were really going to start to ramp up that activity. Pretty much activity filling out most of the radar, especially our coastal locations. So if you are heading out to any events tomorrow morning, maybe you're heading out to the Coastal Bend Heart Walk at Waterburger Field, you're definitely going to want a jacket, a, a rain jacket, a poncho, maybe even some dry socks in your car for afterwards. Futurecast painting the picture of a lull in activity about lunchtime, but more activity heading into tomorrow afternoon. Thankfully, the rain chances are going to take our high temperatures down into the middle 80s tomorrow. So some relief in terms of temperatures with these rain chances. And with that, we do have a weather impact alert starting tonight and going through tomorrow for these scattered heavy rain showers. So again, make sure you grab your rain gear on your way out the door tomorrow. It could be a little disruptful if you have any plans tomorrow. Hurricane Kirk and Tropical Storm Leslie out in the central Atlantic, but at this time, no activity in the Gulf of Mexico. Just this area of interest, a medium chance of development with that. So the Hurricane Center did re up that from the low chance yesterday. This is expected to move over towards the Florida Peninsula, taking the bulk of the tropical moisture with it, but there's still enough left for us and enough upper level energy to be giving us those rain chances heading into tonight as well as tomorrow. Behind that, drier air moves in and sets us up for a very nice start of the week heading into uh, next week. So a little bit of rain today, 90 degrees for that high temperature. And tonight we start that weather impact alert, low temperature of 74. So we do have that red here on our seven day forecast for that weather impact alert day. Again, make sure you're keeping up with the forecast and checking on the radar as well as grabbing an umbrella on your way out the door. But heading into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, that back half of the seven day forecast looking absolutely gorgeous with lots of sunshine and lower morning temperatures.